Hello friends, in this video we will see how to swap two variables but this time we are not going to use the third variable. So let's say two variables have values like this 30 and 10 and after execution of the program we want a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 30. So let's uh, think about this. So the main idea is like this what we are going to do first we are going to store information of a as well as b by performing a simple arithmetic operation which is nothing but addition. What is the purpose of doing this addition? By doing this we are somehow storing information of A as well as B. Correct? So what is the value result for A plus B? It's 40. So what we can do? We can store this uh, value in one of the variables. So let's say we are storing it in A. Correct? So that means A is equal to 40 after this step. So the main idea, the mathematical idea is like this. If we have this result with you, let's say a plus b, then from this you can get value of a as well as b. How? If, if this is there, then if you subtract a, then you will get value of b. And if you subtract from this summation value of b, then you will get value of a, right? So this is the idea. And somehow we, we want to translate this idea into a C code. Okay, so let's say we have stored this uh, summation in in one variable, and let's say variable is a. Now what we want, we now we won't change value of a for now because uh, we need this information in changing value of b. So now we will do modification with respect to b. Okay, so with respect to b, what we want, we want b is equal to a essentially, right? So if we want b is equal to a, then out of these two options, right, option number one is this, option number two is this, and we want our final answer like this, b is equal to a, then essentially we need to go with option number two, because then only we'll get a plus b minus b, which is nothing but a, right? So we need to write like this, a plus b minus b plus a plus b is anyway stored in small a, right? So what we need to do, we, we can just write like this, a minus b and by performing this, value of b is nothing but, a uh, value of a is 40, 40 minus b, b is nothing but 10. So we will get 40 minus 10 which is nothing but 30 and we have achieved our second objective. So this is done now. Now only thing which is remaining is now how to get value of a is equal to 10. So after this step, uh, the value of a is transferred into value of b, right? Because value of a was 30, now 30 is transferred into b, okay? Now the only thing which is remaining is to change the value of a and we want value of a to be nothing but value of b. So essentially what, what is required to be done? Again, we, we need to follow this particular equation, a plus b minus a, because then only we can perform this particular thing, which is nothing but assign value of b to value of a, right? But if, if you want to follow this particular uh, relation, then the issue here is we, we know what is a plus b. a plus b is nothing but a. But there is no value of a here, right? Because value of a is nothing but a plus b, because, so we can't reuse it. So what, what we can do, we can use value of b here because anyway value of a is transferred into value of b after the execution of this line number 2, right? So what we can do, we can write like this, instead of a, we can write down b. This is because value of a is anyway transferred into value of b. So after this three line, the what, what will happen after this third line? Uh, this operation will be performed a plus b is nothing but 40 and value of b is nothing but 30. So 40 minus 30 which is nothing but 10. So we will get a is equal to 10. So essentially we are achieving our objective after execution of this third line. So now let's verify this uh, with code. Okay. So this is the code. Uh, so uh, in order to make this particular program user friendly, we are going to take values from the user. And then uh, we'll perform these three key operations, and after these three operations, the values will be swapped. So let's let's verify this. So let's say values are like this: 43, and let's say 65. Okay. So before swapping, a is 43 and b is 65, and after swapping, a is 65 and b is 43. So we have performed this 
exchange operation and here we are not using any additional variable thank you subscribe to my channel for more videos